You're watching XL Yoga. My name is Daniel. We are out here in the Naosphere, deep in the heart of the yoga capital of the universe, Austin, Texas. Let's practice some logos vinyasa. Let the day begin with discipline. Find an easy seat, ground the base, elongate the spine, elevate the crown to its fullest expression. Leave the palms open to receive. Close the eyelids, turn inward, and begin to focus on breath. Reducing reaction, experience each inhale as it flows through the within. And with each exhale, releasing distraction. Reducing reaction to only inhales, only exhales. Five more on your own. Two. And then at the bottom of this exhale, you can flicker the eyes open. And for the rest of this exercise, we'll be connecting breath to movement and a flowing and at times rigorous meditation. Palms reach out, shoulders back. Inhale to swing the palms overhead, big stretch. Exhale, thumbs to heart center, Anjala Mudra. Repeat, palms reach out and sweep this inhale over the crown. Palms connect, lengthen. Exhale, thumbs down. One more, just like this, palms reach out like the wings of an eagle. We soar even greater. Exhale, thumbs to heart. All right, let's switch the crossing of the legs, please. And then we're gonna stretch the side body, float the left palm, then we're gonna lean to the left here, removing any bend from this right elbow, maximizing the stretch from the fingertip all the way down through the side body. Then contract the core and tilt the heart towards space. Draw the right shoulder back, plug it in. All things deliberate throughout this exercise. Two more breaths. I'll count it off so we can flow together to its opposite happening here in three, two, one. Here we go. And at the bottom of this exhale, you can press both palms into the air, reach up, shake it out, squeeze the navel, inhale, exhale, shift forward, please, to a tabletop position. With palms shoulder width distance apart, knees hip width distance apart, untuck the toes, rotate the eyes or the elbows slightly forward, begin to activate the breath, engage the core, drop the belly, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale to press, curl around the spine, cat. Inhale, lower the heart, float the tail, Bidalasana. Exhale to round the spine, create space, Majariasana. Take several more rounds of cat and cow to the pace rhythm of the inhale followed by the exhale. Then after three cats and three cows, we turn to all fours. Solid foundation here. Leave the knees aligned with the hips as you begin to traction. And tread the palms forward here for a puppy dog stretch. Shusosana, aiming the heart to the mat, sinking, surrendering, and finding stillness here for gravity's last stand. Option to rise into the fingertips to engage even deeper. And even as we sink and discover stillness, continue to observe the pattern, follow the rhythm in and out. Two more breaths.
And then at the tail of this exhale, you begin to retraction the palms back beneath the shoulder blades in a vertical line. Engage, tuck the toes. Inhale, extend the hips upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. First one of this exercise, pedal it out here. Organic movements. Option, shake out the head or wag the tail or find cobra in the spine, pressing into the palms, drawing the heart closer to the thighs. Stay connected and flow with the movement. Then on this next inhale, shift the gaze forward and rise onto the tops of toes. Then with straight legs, navel in, small steps, walk forward to the top of the mat, then fold, Uttanasana, ragdoll variation. Reach for opposite elbows, surrender the weight of the crown. Option to maintain a soft bend or a deep bend in the knees. Allow the torso to sway to the right and left, to the breeze and rhythm. Stay here or option to cross the forearms at the base of the nape, reaching for opposite shoulders if this serves you for two more breaths. And then at the bottom of this exhale, you can carefully release the vine, lower the fingertips to the earth, hollow out the belly, and on this next inhale, begin to unravel the spine, one vertebra at a time. To equal standing, mountain, samatahidihi, finding our roots here, connected at the sole, distribute evenly as you stand up straight with the shoulders back, narrowing the distance between the navel and the spine, and on this next inhale, Reverse swan dive, palms soar above. Exhale to spread the wings and hinge forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up halfway, flat spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the palms and step the right toes to the back of the mat for runner's lunge. Let's build this foundation. The asana begins at the sole of the left foot. Left knee, left heel, vertical straight line. Fully engage the right leg as you plant the right palm. Contract, twist, and reach open to the left. Revolved eight, crescent moon, A. And on this next inhale, the left palm is going to dial to the back of the mat, half circle. Exhale to circle the palm forward into runner's lunge. Plant the right palm as you step the left heel back and stack it, side plank to the left. Extend the left palm to a 12 o'clock position. Now, if the wrists are tender or arm balances aren't available to you, you may stagger the feet for balance or come down to the length of shin or even form as long as the core is active. And the hips are elevated, your side plank is good. Breathe in. And on the exhale, soften the left palm down to a plank position, top of a push up, firm line. Hips, heels, crown, look forward. Press firm into the palms to get the most rising action in the arms. Breathe deep. And on the exhale, slow motion, grounding the heart, untucking the toes, leaving the elbows against the ribs as you sweep the heart. From the floor, baby cobra. Exhale to ground, soften. Two more lift up, baby cobra. This time, removing pressure from the fingertips. Use the strength of the lower body to stay elevated. Breathe, lift up. Exhale to discover the floor. For one more, this time, rising onto the fingertips. Walk them to the corners of the mat. And on this next breath in, either half of the baby cobra or if you have full cobra available to you, this practice, extend the arms completely, keep the neck elongated for a full cycle of breath. Exhale to ground. Retread the fingertips beneath the shoulder blades. Elbows come back to the ribs, tuck the toes, engage the core. And on this inhale, press up a firm line of energy. Kumbhakasana plank. Exhale, downward facing dog for three breaths. Shift the gaze forward, please. Bend the knees deeply. Step or jump to the top of the mat, then fold forward, Uttanasana. 
Inhale, root to rise, hollow out the belly. Palms reach out and let's lift this vibration. Palms connect, lengthen. Exhale, thumbs to the third eye. And bow forward in service of your practice. Lift up halfway, flat spine. Exhale, lower the palms and step the left toes to the back of the mat and find the foundation. Rooting down through the left toes, maintain a solid vertical base. It is from this base we shall construct a myriad of cosmic expressions. Planting the left palm, contract, twist, and reach open to the right. Padavrita Ashtra Chandrasana A. And this next inhale, the right palm is going to dial to the back of the mat, half circle. Exhale to carry this palm like a Ferris wheel forward, Anjaneyasana, plant the left palm, step the right heel back and stack it, side plank to the right. One more slow side body breath into the base. And exhale, lower the right palm back down to a plank position. Challenge here to draw in, drag in, sip in the longest, slowest, deepest breath of this day. And on the exhale, slow motion, either baby cobra or freeze at low plank chaturanga, untucking the toes, pressing upward facing dog, Legs active, knees hover. Exhale, downward facing dog. So this set of actions is the vinyasa for this exercise. I offer many. Challenge yourself, accept them all or skip them as necessary. Shift the gaze forward, please. Bend the knees deeply. Step or rive to the top of the mat, then fold Uttanasana. Inhale to salute the sun. Palms reach out this time. This time interlacing the thumbs, create resistance, locate the center. Draw the biceps back by the ears. Melt the shoulders away from the ears. It's my apartment. I can laugh at myself if I want to. Breathe in full, deep lungs. Exhale to flurry forward and fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Arda Uttanasana, exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back to low plank, Chaturanga, Dandasana. Then move through this vinyasa. One inhale, upward facing dog. Per one exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's take the dogs out here by shortening the stance, walking the palms toward the toes far enough to make heel to earth contact. For the next three breaths, explore the space beneath the skin, connect to the body mind. The body is the unconscious mind. Look, listen, feel. What does it say? And from here, continue to walk the palms all the way to the back of the mat, folding forward. As you squeeze navel in, bend the knees deep, sink the hips low, hover the palms. Then inhale to extend the palms overhead, Ukatasana, chair. And exhale to sink, then squeeze, then breathe in. We are compressing organs. We are activating metabolism. We are stimulating digestion. Then on this next exhale, can you sink a little deeper? Can you squeeze more firmly? Then breathe in. Exhale to dive forward and fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, lower the palms and walk them forward back to your regular downward facing dog, uh, sun salutation B. Tilt the hips back. Next inhale, extends the right heel high, three legged down dog. First three breaths, pressing through the heel, rotate the forefoot toward the mat. Where can you lengthen, strengthen, Sharpen. 
Next two breaths, bend the right knee, rotate the hip right over left while maintaining equal pressure into the palms. Breathe in, extend the right heel, point the toes, engage. Exhale, draw the knee to your nose, curl, shift forward. Please. Inhale to swing the right heel back to space. Exhale, knee to nose, curls. And step it forward, runner's lunge. Prepare the foundation, engage the, the core, and give rise, crescent warrior. With each inhale, expanding as prana floats, each exhale, revising, settling the foundation, achieving buoyancy into this left leg, connected to the deep strength, the deepest strength, the ability to lift yourself. And on this next inhale, reach even greater, squeeze more firmly. And on the exhale, listen carefully, we're gonna dial the left heel down and open up into warrior two. Hips open, right knee is in a straight line over the forward facing toes. If for any reason the knee is tilted inward or off kilter, proper form is to take this right sit bone and pull it inward as it presses the left one away, then lunging forward, creating this invisible line of energy from the right heel to the arch of the left foot. And breathe. Rotate the front palm and reach up. Peaceful warrior side body stretch. Exhale, we're going to cartwheel the palms down frame by frame. Left palm rotates with the left toes into Anjaneyasana as you step the right heel back, three legged down dog as you descend halfway, chaturanga, then the toes follow and float you through this three legged vinyasa. One breath per one action back to Adho Mukhasana. DFD, side B, yeah, you know me. Next inhale, extends the left heel high. Ekapada, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Second verse, same as the first. First three breaths, find your fullest expression. Next two breaths, bend the left knee, rotate the hip left over right. Inhale, extends the left heel, point the toes, engage. Exhale, knee to nose, curl, shift forward, freeze. Inhale, to swing the left heel back to space. Exhale, knee to nose, curl, shift forward and step through Anjane Asana. Prepare, engage, and then ascend. Asja Chandrasana. Stay fierce, stay focused. This next inhale, reach even greater, squeeze the center. And on the exhale, listen carefully, spread the wings as you hinge forward, flipping the palms, interlacing the fingers, then pulling the palms, extending past the tailbone as you lift the heart up, tilt the head back. Option to stoke the Kali Mudra, extending the index finger, wrapping the thumbs. Imagine there's a string pulling you up from the heart into the cosmos for two more breaths. And at the tail of this exhale, carefully release the bind, circle the palms back overhead, crescent warrior, and then open up into Virabhadrasana too. Turn the palm and reach up, Preparita Virabhadrasana. Exhale, rainbow the palms down as you articulate for this vinyasa. Flow with the movement, one breath per one action. Downward facing dog. Okay, friends, we're gonna repeat this sequence again. 
this sun be this time one breath this time one movement this time one breath pro one action here we flow shift the gaze forward please bend the knees deeply step or pounce to the top of the mat then fold as you squeeze the navel in bend the knees deep sink the hips over the palms then breathe up lift up chair exhale to sink and squeeze then breathe in exhale to fold forward uttanasana <sighs> inhale lift up halfway flat spine exhale vinyasa plant the palms step or jump back and flow downward facing dog next inhale extends the right heel high three-legged exhale to step it forward runners lunge solid firm inhale to give rise crescent warrior full deep exhale open up warrior two inhale reverse warrior Exhale, windmill the palms down and take a vinyasa. One breath. Side B extends the left heel high, three legged. Exhale to step on through Anjaneyasana. Inhale, ostrich and drasana. Exhale, virabhadrasana two. Inhale, preparita virabhadrasana. Exhale, vinyasa. Step back and flow. downward facing dog all right friends let's take a short rest here child's pose balasana seal the uh, base of the thighs to the heels and extend the palms forward giving the third eye a down or reach the palms left open behind you to receive or stay seated to heels like a thunderbolt and take a sip of water New friends, old friends, I speak each level in this space. Option to follow each cue carefully. Option to listen to what speaks to you. Option to tune this out and go with the flow. Also, taught myself a new skill this week. I'm now a personal hairstylist. Shift forward, please. Downward facing dog. from down dog, shift forward to a plank position, solid, firm breath, breathe, exhale, slow motion, ground the heart, sphinx. Walk the palms forward, spread the fingers apart, forearm stay parallel, the forefoot active, knees hover, lift the heart. So the friends, we salute the sun, we establish the foundation, but thou shall not pass the core. The core is the source of your physical power, so tuck the toes, Engage the core, and then extend the hips up into a firm line for forearm plank for 60 counts beginning now. 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 
19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Disengage. Ground the heart, lower the chin to the mat. Then bend the knees, hip width distance apart, point the toes as you reach for the lateral edges of both feet. And then lift up into bow pose. Don Yurasana. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And dare to breathe. I like to roll from side to side in this position, kind of playfully. You know, if you land on the left side, just keep the bind. Same thing for the right. And then from here, center the heart. And one more inhale lifts you even greater. And exhale to carefully disengage. Retread the palms beneath the shoulder blades, elbows in, and press the hips back up to the heels for our thunderbolt vajrasana, as it is in Sanskrit. All right, so this is a good alternative resting posture to child's pose. You come to seated on heels, cup the palms, sit up straight, shoulders back, core active always ever in here, out there, but especially out there and in here. All right, let's practice uh, back bend here. Let's rise into the knees for Ustrasana camel pose. Keeping the shins, Parallel, toes tucked or untucked, but the first primary principle of vertical back bends is to keep the thighs flexed and pressed forward, buttock engaged, then take the palms to the base of the hips as you lift the heart, tilt the head back, and bend from top to center for camel. And if you decide you want more engagement, you can release the bind, reaching for the heels with the thighs still pressing forward over time, perhaps achieving enough of a back bend to get an upside down view of the back of the room. Remember friends, you are as young as your spine is flexible. Two more breaths. And then at the bottom of this breath cycle, carefully release the bind, circling the palms back over the head, and then come back to seated on heels. From here, shift the hips to either side, extend the legs forward. Staff pose, Dandasana. Distribute evenly along the base, all things deliberate. Reach the palms forward, keep the arms tugged in, and then from here, we're gonna hover the shins parallel to the floor and hit the ceiling, but point the toes, draw the shoulders back, keep the neck long and looking straight up, Navasana boat pose, breathe in. Exhale, lower to a hover, freeze without pinning the shoulders, without tapping the heels. Express the lungs and breathe up and lift high boat. Exhale, low boat, hover, freeze, chill, and wait. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat three out of five. There are two more. Here we flow. Coming up, number four. Exhale, lower to a simmer. Now, friends, on this last one, how many fibers can you activate? How slowly can you articulate this high boat expression? Breathe in and up. Exhale, lower to a hover for 10, nine, point the toes, eight, scissor kicks, seven, six, or find angels in the carpet free falling for five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Sigh it out, disengage. <clears throat> Left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly. Bend the knees and walk the heels towards you as you sway the knees to and from, reconnect.
Next challenge. We're gonna traction the palms to the base of the thighs, then begin to start rocking and rolling your frame up and down the length of the mat until one of three Sukhasana is just fine, or maybe getting enough momentum to roll to equal standing mountain pose, or perhaps you wanna cross the legs and roll through the chaturanga, taking a vinyasa, all levels, means choose your own adventure. And then from here, we're gonna to step to the center of the mat. Transitioning from segment to segment, we reestablish the base, so let's find a strong, sturdy mountain. Let's practice some balance. Reverse swan dive, palms soar above. Exhale, Andhra Mudra. Let's plant some trees, Rikshasana. Rise into the left toes, knee comes forward. Then open the knee over to the left. Then one of three to plant a tree, heel to the low calf, or drag the heel to the thigh crease, or option to take the half lotus bind over the right thigh, pressing the palms, creating a straight line of energy from the crown to the sole. Find a dristi, a point of focus that you can tune out and tune in. On the inhales, on the exhales. And from here, we're going to grow our branches, reach up. Then extend the left knee forward, keep it flexed. Then we're going to draw that knee and thigh parallel as you reach for the interior edge of the left foot. Seal the gyan mudra right hand side, then reach forward as you extend upward for Natara Janasana, dancer's pose. Begin to press the uh, forefoot into the palm. Stay present. Remember friends, failure is always an option because failure is always informative. Woo, that's live action. Two more breaths. And exhale carefully, step it down, shake it out. For side B. From mountain, reverse swan dive, palm soar above. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Let's rise into the right toes, knee forward and open the knee over to the right. And one of three, rinse, repeat, and plant a tree. Whoa, one side may be unlike the other. And from here, grow the branches. Extend the right knee forward, keep the heel flexed, and draw the knee and thigh parallel. Reach for the interior edge of the right foot, dancer. Two more breaths. And at the bottom of this exhale, carefully release the bind, step down, woo, shake it out. And from here, let's all take a walk to the top of the mat. And let's reverse one dive and salute the sun one more glorious time while it is still called today. Exhale to flurry forward, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, lower the palm, step back to down dog or take a vinyasa. One breath, one motion. Downward facing dog. All right, friends, main course of the daily bread 
Here we flow. Next inhale, extends the right heel high, three-legged. Exhale to step it forward, runner's lunge. As you dial the left heel down, lining up the right heel to the arch of the left foot as if you're going to balance on a tightrope. Crawl the left fingertips forward. How gracefully can you expand and fan? Open, warrior two. Five breaths, five points of light. In this constellation, number one is a deep lunge in the right knee, toes forward. For number two, a fully engaged left leg with a lateral edge parallel or a slight inner rotation of the left hip. For number three, shoulders and hips are squared forward. Number four, a straight line of energy from fingertip to fingertip. Then number five, crown elevated to its fullest, dristy flowing just past the right middle finger. Turn the palm, lift up, peaceful warrior. But stay, hold, freeze, breathe, deep lunge, inhale. Exhale to rotate the palms to a 12 and six position. Extended side angle. Option to rest the elbow to the top of the thigh above the knee. Option to hover the forearm to the inside of the right ankle as you extend the south paw to a 12 o'clock position. Noon or midnight matters less unless you have an alternative expression perhaps the 45 degree straight line of energy, or maybe even a find behind the spine or bird of paradise. Extended side angle is the peak posture for this exercise, which means we're here for approximately two extra breaths. Birds and vines, you're in a time zone of your own. Side angles, two more breaths. One more breath within. Always stay for the breath without. This is at the bottom of the exhale. We rotate back open to warrior two. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Lengthen through the right leg, shift the hips back, keep the arms parallel. Setting up for trikonasana triangle. Surf the upper half forward and dial the palms back into a vertical line. Take up space. Imagine you're carrying a large canvas through a narrow corridor. Stay connected. Be the observer, not the actor. The triangle, side angle, warrior two, and reverse warrior all share, everybody now, an identical vertical base. One more breath. At the tail of this exhale, rotate the palms back up to a vertical line, spin the heels over here to the left for five points of light, a five pointed star, Utita Tadasana. Both feet forward, lateral edges parallel, first three breaths, sparkle, shimmer, shine, take up space. When you do, your frequency increases, your esteem levitates. Then seal the Gyanudra, spread the wings wide, Press the heart forward, squeeze the center middle, breathe deep, and on the exhale, oh, wide-legged forward bend. Prasarita Padatanasana. Turn the palms, interlace the fingers, and then extend the palms north to the crown. Option to stoke the Kali Mudra. Over time, perhaps experimenting, heel toeing wide enough to make contact from the crown to this earth, stay connected, and perhaps even discover a speck of rest at the bottom of this position for two more breaths. One. And then at the tail of this exhale, carefully release the bind, lowering both palms to the ground, connecting the thumbs in a straight line. Stay low, hover the palms an inch, then spread the wings a mile. And this inhale, we're gonna flare open to our five points of light. Woo! 
breathe in. Then rotate the right heel to the front of the mat and without seam, step into warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, windmill the palms down, vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Side B, extends the left heel high, three-legged. Exhale to step it forward, runner's lunge. Dial the right heel down, lining up the left heel to the arch of the right foot. This is if you're gonna balance on a paddle board. Crawl the right fingertips forward and spiral open. Virabhadrasana two. Five breaths, five opportunities. Five inhalations expand you. Five exhalations revise you. Work and you deepen, straighten, sharpen. Turn the palm, reach up, Preparita Virabhadrasana. But stay for the exhale. Maintain the deep lunge, 90 into the left knee. Breathe up, look north. And on the exhale, spin the palms back to a vertical line. Uttita Parsvakanasana, extended side angle. Birds and vines do the things. Side angles, the ability to observe without evaluating is the highest form of intelligence. Two more breaths. One. And at the end of this breath cycle, rotate the palms back up through warrior two. Shout it, shout it out loud. <sighs> Lengthen through the left leg, shift the hips back, arms parallel. Setting back up for triangle as you close line the upper half forward and dial the palms back to 12 and six. One more cycle of breath. And at the bottom of this breath cycle, rotate the palms back into a horizontal line and spin the heels over here to the right, back to our five points of light. Keep in mind, friends, that right and left may vary from me to you once in a while because I'm one part mirroring and also second part facing the camera. So this time, heels in, toes out. Let's bring the palms together, happening in three, two, one, breathe in. Exhale, skandhasana into the right knee. Rest the elbow to the top of the thigh above the knee or lower the elbow anchor to the inside of the right ankle as you lift the left toes, pressing the palm lengthening from the crown to the tail. Or just a suggestion, option to take the right fingertips, tent them up and open up to the left for aesthetic. And from here, palms press down, press back up. Five points, twinkle, twinkle. <sighs> palms back together, happening and trace, dos, uno, breathe in. Exhale, skandhasana to the left. Find your expression. Or add aesthetic. From here, palms pressed down, press back up, raise the jazz, twinkle, twinkle. Exhale, lower the palms to the thighs, sink low, look forward, breathe deep. Exhale, lower the left shoulder, gaze over right. 
use the palm to press it, twist it, turn it, torque it, then bend it. And at the bottom of this twist, return back to center, <clears throat> full deep body breath. Exhale, lower the right shoulder, gaze over left. Stay. Breathe. Deepen. And then at the bottom of this exhale, return back to center. Seal the Gyan Mudra, these things right here. And then we're going to raise on up all the way up onto the tops of toes. We've been calling this exploding star, full deep lungs, and then exhale lower into goddess pose. Sink low, align the spine with the crown, and be the burn. Option to rise onto the left toes, no pressure, no hurry. Option to rise onto the right toes, no problem, no worry. Option to fan the flames of this phoenix over the crown, across the forearms, pretty deep. Exhale, feathers down, heels high, hips low. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. And from here, carefully lower the heels back to the earth. Return all 10 toes forward, stay low, hover the palms, and spread the wings. And then we flare back open to our five points. Woo, breathe in. And rotate the left heel to the front of the mat and step into warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, last vinyasa of class. Express yourself. Downward facing dog. Tilt the hips back, extend the right heel high, three-legged for half pigeon, draw the knee forward, rest it behind the right wrist as you drape the torso over the thigh. Extend the left leg behind you, toes untucked, palms and elbows inbound, find the center, press up vertical pigeon, glance over the left shoulder, make sure the, the foot is straight, and exhale, resting pigeon. Walk the palms forward to the forearms or extend them completely, giving the third eye a down. Three more breaths. And then when you are ready to reanimate, how many fibers, how many feathers, how many quills? As you retread the palms back beneath the shoulder blades, engage, tuck the left toes, prepare. Then press up and extend the right heel back to space, three-legged down dog. Bend the right knee, stacking the hip right over left. Organic movements here, clockwise, counterclockwise, or otherwise. If you have wild thing in your practice and want to flip your dog, carefully hover the right palm and turn the torso over to the left. Extending the hips upward with the right palm reaching forward facing up. The left palm is your primary pillar of support. Know thyself. And then, and only when you are ready to rotate back over, how many fibers can you activate? 
How much articulation can you express? As you rotate through this extended side plank, press through the heel. As you roll over into a three-legged down dog on an inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, or bonus, logos. Downward facing dog. Next inhale, extends the left heel high, three-legged. Exhale, half pigeon. Draw the knee forward. Drape the torso. Extend the right leg. Palms and inbound, palms and elbows, inbound. Find the center. Press up vertical pigeon. Glance over the right shoulder, then go to sleep. Three more breaths. Then, just as mindfully as you operated on its opposite, begin to reanimate one strand by one by one. Engage, tuck the right toes, prepare. And then press up and extend the left heel back to space, three-legged. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Restorative action. Stay here or hover the left palm, Kamakarasana, and then turn over. The right palm is where it is at. Now imagine you're at the bottom of the sea. How slow can you flow? How many ripples can you create? How much transformation can you ignite combining a single breath? Inhale with one rotation, Ekapada, exhale. Downward facing dog, or get that bonus logos. Downward facing. Shift the gaze forward, please. Step through to a seat. Legs come forward. Whew. and dasana. Connect the pinky fingers and the thumbs. Open the pedals of this lotus. And this inhale, reach up. Grab for your dharma, your path. Breathe in. And exhale, a seated forward bend. Reach for the ankles, the lateral edges of both feet. Or take the peace fingers and reach for the big toes. And flex yourself forward, bringing awareness back to core engagement so that you may fold even deeper. And then from here you can carefully disengage. And let's bend the left knee and draw the heel and the calf to the base of the thigh. Firm squeeze here as you extend the left heel over the right thigh, keep it snug. Lean to the right, fold the right leg under, reestablish the base. Take the left fingertips or palm and plant them at the base of the spine as you reach up and look up with the right palm, breathe in, squeeze the navel, exhale, twist to the left, 
for half lord of the fishes, Mati Andrasana. Each inhale lengthening through the vertebra, each exhale deepening. Two more breaths. And at the bottom of this breath cycle, you can rotate back towards center, uncross the legs, re-extend, side B. And from here, bending into the right knee, drawing the heel and the calf to the base, easy squeeze. As you extend the right heel over the left thigh, lean to the left, and fold the left leg under. Tight the right palm or fingertips and reach up with the left palm. Breathe in, squeeze, exhale, twist to the right. Only expansion, only contraction. Two more breaths. And at the end of this breath, you can rotate back towards center, uncross the legs, extend them forward, give a shake if necessary, hover the palms, and let's carefully make our way onto the shoulder blades. Keep the arms along the side body, palms face down. Bend the knees, walk the heels towards you. Hip width distance apart, longest finger reaches the heel, setting up for a bridge, which is set to Bandasana first, exhaling any wind remaining from the lungs. Then inhale to extend the hips upward while pressing the palms into the mat. Chin away from the chest, option, to take the bind, interlace the fingers, then extend the fist, tucking in one shoulder, and then it's opposite, the rising and the sinking. And if you still have the bind, be kind, rewind, and soften the spine. All right, friends, we can practice bridge again, or if you're ready for relaxation, draw the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall, draw the heels toward the root chakra, left hand heart, right hand belly, recline butterfly, Supta Baddha Konasana. Or if you still have some energy left over that's screaming to get out, we can practice wheel or take bridge or chill. But wheel goes like this. Um, the feet are in the same position as bridge. Plant the palms beside either ear. Elbows come up shoulder width distance apart. Before we lift off, friends, always keep in mind, uh, remember to avoid going heels in, toes out on the lift out up. That is the most common misalignment that I observe as an instructor by the under initiated. Exhale first, then inhale to extend the hips up. Squeeze the center, and then you can press up, lift the crown, option to recontact the crown at the top, or extend the arms completely in the hips upward for Urdhva Dhanurasana, wheel. Come back down, carefully tuck the chin and lower the shoulders and draw the breath back to the mat. Draw the knees into the heart. Give yourself a firm squeeze for all of the order 
and logos, reaching across the shins for opposite elbows like a tiny little package. Maybe point the toes, tuck the chin. If you want to take happy baby, reach between the knees for the lateral edges of both feet with soles upward facing, body sinking, surrendering, dissipating, disappearing into the mat, into that long forgotten space free of care. This is the final posture for this exercise. If there's something I didn't think of, go for it here. Otherwise, when you are ready, you may fan and expand open into your final relaxation. Extending the arms and legs the length of the mat. Heels to the corners. Allow the toes to fall. Leave the palms open to receive. Keep the shoulders grounded so that the heart stays elevated. This is your corpse pose. Shavasana. As we complete the cycle for our practice, it begins again with this next inhale. The first into the new narrow sphere, a space where life is only ever lived. Send this awareness throughout the body, energetic. Let this light illuminate the heart space as it outflows and inflows, passing through the throat chakra. Send this awareness into the third eye, the pineal gland, the seat of intuition. Then reanimate by extending the palms beyond the crown. Long good morning stretch. Point the toes, lengthen. And then from here, bending into both knees. Use the palms to align as you roll over to the left side body, placing the palm by the brow. And then from here, pressing back up to an easy seat as we conclude this practice the same way we began. Thank you for sharing your practice with me and for the gift of your presence. Thank yourselves for stepping into radical action on this destinationless journey to become the greatest of all time at all the things only you are qualified to become the kindest, wisest, most patient, most forgiving. There is no vibration that exceeds God's grace, longest, strongest version of yourself. Take this energy into the rest of your day. And thank you, friends, for sharing. Exhale with your friends. My name is Daniel. Good karma. Namaste.